morning guys. So it is Saturday morning and I was actually just on my way to my internship this morning because every second Saturday I go into the clinic and I do a full day and I was on my way there when my supervisor, boss, whatever, called me to tell me that he wasn't feeling well so my day got cancelled. So since I'm already up and I've got a few things to do this weekend, I thought I would just take you guys along. So I'm going to do a little bit of a weekend vlog slash take you guys along on a few things that I want to do this weekend. So I'm going to take you guys along on my grocery haul that I'm going to go do right now actually. And then I want to do a really big mobility session today. So I'm going to film that for you guys. I know that I get mobility drills and exercises. Like I get requests for that all the time over on Instagram. It's some of my posts that get the most saved and the most questions about. So I'll show you guys a pretty full on mobility routine because my body needs it. So it'll be good for me. And I'll also get to share that with you guys. Um, I'll share with you guys probably a couple workouts. We're gonna try to finish putting together the rower this weekend. So we'll see how that works out. And then hopefully I can do a really fun rower workout for you guys on this video. So it'll be, it'll be a fun weekend. Right now it's pouring rain, so I'm not gonna do anything exciting probably today, but whatever we end up doing, I will take you guys along. So anyways, I will see you guys at the grocery store. So I made it home and survived the trip up the stairs with the three massive bags. Like, look at this. Like, this is just one of the few bags that I had to bring up three flights of stairs. So, let me tell you, that's like part one of my workout for the day. So, I don't think I'm gonna run you guys through a full grocery haul because I always get the same stuff. So, protein, I got chicken breast as always. I got eggs, salmon, because this one looked really, really good. Mentioned in my last vlog, but the brighter the color, the healthier, more omega-3s, more of all the good stuff. So look for brightly colored salmon. Ground turkey for tacos, Asian bowls, Mexican bowls, all the good stuff. And more chicken. Then always a lot of bananas. One new thing that I got is this new oat creamer, which I've never tried before. Like, I've tried the other silk oat ones, but this one says for coffee. So I'm thinking maybe it might like froth better or and it, it might also be just the exact same thing. And this marketing just made me buy it to try it out. So if that's the case, good on you, silk, you got me. But I'm going to try it out right after I'm done putting this away and I'll let you guys know if there's any difference. I also got frozen cod for um, a protein source and honestly I highly recommend cod especially if maybe you're not the biggest fish fan but you're trying to look for more lean sources of protein. I find cod is really not that fishy. Like it's, I find honestly that it's a little flavorless so whatever you make with it, whatever you put on top of it, it's just going to taste like that. And one piece of cod has 0 0.3 fat one carb 17 protein so like this is pure protein right here also really affordable so anyways i recommend giving it a try you can put it in fish tacos you can put it in the air fryer and add like a tahini dressing over it you could just honestly you could put anything over it and it's just going to taste exactly like whatever you're having it with so highly recommend okay i'm going to try this famous oat milk for coffee <laughs> that i just got so I'm going to put it in the frother because I am very curious to see if it gets foamier than just regular oat milk. So we're about to find out. Okay. Alright. Okay. So 
So I'm gonna put that on. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how this comes out. Haven't looked yet. Ooh. All right, this definitely was a little creamier, so that's nice. And now for the taste test, cheers. Mmm. Oh yeah, this is good. Mmm. Usually I get the unsweetened. Usually I get the unsweetened vanilla. So I hope they come with an unsweetened vanilla version of this. Still, is not too bad. Four grams of sugar per tablespoon. I just won't put sugar into my coffee next time. But uh, actually good. Froth's better. It's a little sweeter, obviously, creamier. Highly recommend. All right, guys, so I just finished editing a fitness vlog that is going to be going up before this one. So you guys have probably already seen it. If you have not, I will definitely make sure to link it up. But being on the computer, for a few hours has just made me so sleepy. So all I wanted right now was nap, to be honest. But said we would do a workout today and I've been working really hard to keep my promises to myself. So just to be really intentional about what I say I'm going to do, when I say I'm going to work out, when I'm saying I'm going to rest, plan it out, like think about it. And then if I decide that that's a day that I should be doing this or that, to actually stick with it unless there's like a real legitimate reason for me to not do it and there's no real legitimate reason for me to not get my workout in today it's only 1 30 i have plenty of free time today so i'm gonna motivate myself i'm gonna put some music on get dressed and we're gonna go work out let's do it like today I'm either doing a more circuit hit cardio style of workout or I'm doing like today where I'm really pushing myself with some of the exercises that I find the most challenging and that's what I did today so I did squats I did sets of eight which means that like it's decently heavy for me but not anywhere near my max but still heavy a heavy lift then I did pull-ups, which are always, always killer, and I'm trying really hard to get better at them, so I try to get them at, into my workouts at least twice a week. Then I did Bulgarians, which I don't even need to explain. Everyone knows how hard Bulgarians are. Then I went on to push-ups, which once again, another hard exercise that I'm trying to get better at. My first two sets, I did sets of 15, and then my last two, I couldn't keep up, so I did sets of 12 or 13, and that's fine. That's what you want. You want to be pushing yourself to your almost maximum every single set so if the first set that's 15 and the last set that's 11 or 12 that's completely fine it's better than doing all sets of 12 which means that maybe the first two sets you weren't pushing yourself as hard as you could have and then i moved on to those single leg pistols assisted pistol squats and i finished off with a bit of a shoulder core exercise which 
all together was really good so that's just another example also how you don't need to have a crazy workout with a billion exercises that was only six exercises but because they're difficult i took between a minute and a minute and a half between every one of my sets so six exercises took me almost an hour it took me 56 minutes and i worked hard which is always the goal and i worked on movement patterns that are really important to me which is also really important you want to make sure that every exercise you put into your workouts has a purpose and you're doing it for a particular reason. Anyways, my arm, my shoulder is dying. I can't hold this anymore. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go shower and then probably take it easy for the rest of the day. guys good morning it is the next day my laundry is going in the background it's really loud I apologize I just have a very exciting package that I want to open with you guys so it is my massive Nespresso pod order so every few months my boyfriend and I we make one of these ginormous orders um, that lasts us like I said usually I would say around three months worth of coffee Maybe four, because we got a lot on this one. And I'm sharing this not just because we got coffee, but because Nespresso just launched their new pods that are like supposed to be made for iced coffee. So when you put it over ice and the ice melts a little bit, whatever, and it gets diluted, like that's when it's supposed to be at its best, which I'm really excited about. So I'm definitely, definitely making an iced coffee right after this as I'm making breakfast. So this is like a massive 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 haul so just like okay just to just to give you guys an idea the obsession is pretty real so this is one of the new flavors so this is actually tropical coconut flavor I don't know if you guys can see that well. But this is actually really exciting. So this is also meant to be done on ice. And then we have this one, which is the Ice Forte. They also have a lighter version of this, but I only got the stronger ones because I like a strong tasting iced coffee. I really, really, really dislike the diluted flavor. So even though the other one's also made for iced coffee, it's supposed to be a lighter flavor. So we went for this one. Yeah, so I got a few of this, so I really hope that we like them. I'm sure we will. And then I only got one of this to start because, because coconut and coffee sounds a bit weird to me, to be honest. Like I wouldn't even know exactly what milk to put on it, like what kind of sweetener to put on it. Like I'm, I'm a tad confused, but I think I'm gonna try this one today so that I can give you guys an idea, an overview, and then you can decide if it's something that you wanna try for yourself. If you have an espresso, of course. I, we got our an espresso for Christmas from my parents, and honestly, it has been the best gift I've gotten it in a long time. And had we not gotten it for Christmas, I was already thinking about looking to buy it, and it would have been the best purchase ever. Um, after I got it, I started posting all of my coffees in the morning. My best friend bought one too. She's obsessed. Her boyfriend, who didn't used to really drink coffee, loves their espressos. So honestly, it is a bit of an investment, but I highly recommend the Nespresso if you are a coffee lover. Anyways, I'm gonna go put all this away in my Nespresso area of the apartment, which I'll show you guys. And then we're gonna make this and breakfast, so let's do it. Okay, so this is the Nespresso area. As you can see, we basically have an Nespresso store in here. So just to show you guys, these are some of my favorites. So we have the Melosio, which is like a, medium intensity regular coffee then i have the caramel cookie the hazelnut and the vanilla which all three are really good and then these the bianco leggero are my favorite double espressos these are what i have been making my iced coffees with so far and i love them and then this is a bianco forte which these are made to be made with milk they're sort of the barista edition 
Then these are the iced ones, and then these are Ben's coffees of choice. So we're gonna be trying this one out today. Okay. Mm. It does smell like coconut a little bit. This is um, large coffee. I don't have a lot of space left for creamer. I don't even know what to put in this to not like ruin the coconut flavor. Okay, so all I can really think of is this cinnamon creamer that I have. Does cinnamon and coconut go together? guess we're gonna find out we are going to find out so first lesson from this already is that I need I need bigger glasses like I might have to buy those bigger um, mason jars for my iced coffees because I used to put just a double espresso on my iced coffees which is really small so even with ice and milk it's fine but this is a full sized coffee on top of a lot of ice and then adding creamer so it's um anyways, I'm just blobbing I don't know if I taste the coconut I think the creamer took I think the creamer takes over no, I can taste it a little bit. Hmm. Well, it definitely doesn't taste diluted. So that's number one. Like, you can definitely taste the coffee flavor, which is really nice. Hmm. Yeah, so I'll have to try it with a non-flavored um, creamer sweetener thing just to be able to get more of an idea of what the coconut actually tastes like on its own. But regardless, I'm, I'm a fan so far. If it's even good mixed with cinnamon, which is a little bit weird, then it's probably great on its own. All right, guys, it is time for that mobility session I told you guys we were going to be doing. So first things first, I'm going to be starting with the foam roller. So this mobility session is going to focus mostly on the lower body. So I'm going to be starting all the way at the top with the glutes. I tend to have some pretty bad trigger points in my glutes, so working them out like this feels amazing so you want to cross over your leg on top of the other one to get a nice stretch position and as you can see it is pretty uncomfortable sometimes but it is well worth the pain up next we are moving our way down to the hamstrings so here make sure that you really roll all the way from the top to the bottom of your hamstring I didn't record the quads but you could also flip around and work your quads as well before continuing to move down for each of the muscle groups I recommend doing one to two minutes of nice slow strokes like this that go all the way throughout the entire muscle then I moved on to doing my calves before finishing off with the foam roller all right, up next we're moving on to a part of mobility that is often neglected, and that is nerve mobility. So the nerves actually have to pass through different tissues to get from your spine all the way to the bottom of your foot. And sometimes there can be tension throughout those tissues, which can cause a decrease in how well your nerves can actually glide and move. So sometimes when you feel a strong pulling behind your legs, it might actually be your sciatic nerves or branches of the sciatic nerve that are not moving as well as they should be. So as you can see, what I'm doing is keeping my hips flexed and alternating between extending my toes and my knee and bringing it back down. So I want to pull your toes all the way up and then extend your knee as much as you can until you feel that pull and then go back down. And you want to repeat somewhere between 12 to 15 repetitions of this. Once that is done, we are just moving on to regular static stretching. So here, when you cross over your foot over the opposite knee and bring your hips towards you, this targets the piriformis muscle around your glute area. And then when you cross over in this way, in the seated position, and you pull your knee more towards your opposite shoulder, this is going to target your glute max a little bit more. Once again, for all of these stretches, you want to try to hold them for a minute before moving on to the other leg. 
And remember guys, you wanna always, always stretch both legs so that everything is nice and evened out. And the last stretch is going to target our entire posterior chain. So to do this properly, first things first, you wanna make sure your back is nice and straight. You don't wanna be bending at the back, you wanna simply be bending at the hips. Make sure your knees are straight and your toes pointed upwards to get the entire posterior chain and then slowly bend forward at the hips while maintaining that position. Next, we are going to be stretching the groin. So we are going to be going into this frog position. You wanna make sure that your hips are aligned with your knees and then you wanna sink down as low as you can and hold. This one is a different kind of discomfort, but it is such a good stretch because we all tend to have groins that are pretty stiff and pretty tight because we rarely stretch them out. So not the most fun, but definitely, definitely worth doing, guys. And then last but not least are hip flexors and quads. So here make sure you tilt your hips posteriorly and then squeezing your glute is also going to give you a better stretch right in the front of those hip flexors. Once again, you wanna hold, maintain a nice neutral spine with your pelvis tilted backwards the entire time. And if you can, you can slightly shift your weight forward to get an even stronger stretch. As always, hold a minute and switch legs. And that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.